Ah, you're back to another episode of Persona 5. <laughs> Shut up. I forgot, but I came back and I did it right. But I don't have the silky smooth voice that Sojiro has. <laughs> so, let's see. Ryuji wants us. Uh, I'm already here. How you doing, Ryuji? We're gonna see who's around today. Tataba can go up. Makoto can go up, but I don't have enough shit for her. Uh... Give me the back streets, because if I go to the, to the actual cafe, I think... Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm gonna hang out with... I'm not... No, well... Hmm... Now you're good. I am not selfless. How do I raise my kindness? I go into the movies. That's knowledge. Nope. Uh, give me Central Street. I need to be kinder. And I don't know how to be kinder. Admission impossible. Proficiency. Uh, I will check what the other theater has. However, I kind of want to increase my proficiency a little bit as well. Remember to go to the lottery. Sure in a moment. The Avengers. Kindness. Okay. Awesome. I know where to go for a kindness for right now. Uh, but Station Square because I think Look where I'm going. Look at the game and not at your phone. 300 yen. It's, it's an objective increase. Welcome. 10 8. Is there a calendar? There's a calendar. Not where I wanted to fucking go. How many times have I done that? <laughs> My teleporter. <laughs> Too late. Well, I forget things easily. Much you want, Thanos. Delicious. Delicious. I'm sorry. Did he just say Thanos? <laughs> I guess. Hey, I'm empathetic. All right. Oh, 
Okay, Google. When did Avengers Infinity War release? Ah, you're back. <laughs> April 2018. So yes, it did. By like a year. Good evening. No, oh, don't worry about it. Thank you. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. I'll see you later. Oh boy. Another report. I'm a natural. Am I still? You bet I am. Give me one moment. Because I need to make my maid make me coffee. Make sure you close up. That's easy. I will save the game soon. Diner, huh? Not only old farts, like that. Old f a diner, huh? Not only old farts come to places like this. Really changed, Munasan. <laughs> hey, don't knock this place. It's pretty decent and cheap too. Ha! This is coming from the guy who beat the crap out of fifty rival gang members. You don't need to exaggerate. Anyways, what do you want to talk about? Yeah. Oh, right. How's Sudasan doing? Same as always. Why, what's up? Oh, nothing. Just saw him around the other day. Hold up. Didn't you cut ties when you left the family? Why are you asking about him now? I mean, we were both young. I figured it was about time we bury the hatchet. Just can't just go up and talk to him, though. No, I get you. You're still trying to uphold the old code of honor, huh? I'll tell him you want to meet up. Nah, I just want to end up in the same place at the same time. It's got to look like a coincidence. In that case, Shibara might work. You know, we're talking about redeveloping it. Shibara. <coughs> I should call him. Oh, you sick or something? Nah, it's just cold. Hello? Yeah, how's it going? What? Your order's all wrong. My bad. I'll get back and take care of that straight away. Sorry. Sorry, you gotta run. Work shit. Let's talk some other type, yeah? Meh, see ya. Hey. I'm not good at it. Sudasan. It's Masa. Why well, I was asking about you. Did just like you told me though. The hell are you looking at? Oh god. Hey, I'm walking here. What's it do ya? For real? What should I do now? Sorry, I was daydreaming. Anyways, you have probably heard about that deal of yours. Now he's trying to squeeze some cash out of you. Oh, sorry, nah. It's, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I understand. A deal. Sounds like there's some weird stuff going down. What should I do now? You're all good for today. I have to thank you in person later. Anyway, I honestly wasn't expecting too much out of you. <laughs> it looks like you're actually going to be some use to me. I'll be counting on you, kid. Rank 2? Right. Rank 2. It's almost like Baby Mafia. Shut up. All right. Good work today. Order yourself something nice as a reward. Oh, bring me the seat receipt so I can pay it back Later. for it. Later. Alright, that's some extra proficiency too. You know, I feel like a Mafia member would actually have a maid of some kind. 
Because they would have the money to do it. The dirty money, but the money to do it. A great classic sci-fi movie. Back to the ninja. Uh... Well... You know what? Sure. You know, really... Being part of a mafia is not as hard as people say. All you gotta do is follow orders a lot of the time. Just watch your mouth so you don't piss the wrong people off. Yo! Why wouldn't I? Hey man, Back to the Ninja 2 was great, but there's nothing wrong with going with the classics. I guess, yeah. The fun side of science. My knowledge has improved. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, huh? Thanks. <laughs> A foreign sci-fi marathon in our room, my room. Hmm, we'll see. comments used to be so encouraging, but now they're actually kind of frightening. This is utter chaos. The public dislike of Okamura has grown ex exponentially as well. How are you holding up, Haru? We've been receiving anonymous threats almost every day now. That's scary, but our security is tight, so it's been okay so far. I believe things will calm down once we finish this, Haru. What about us? Are we gonna get all popular and shit again? Let's not concern ourselves with that. I only pray that things calm down. Home shopping! Hold on, home shopping! Eh. Home shopping. Okamura Foods is in the public eye after receiving a calling card from Vinny G Plays. Ever since the calling card is, was sent out, people have clamored for President Okamura's punishment. President Okamura has not made an appearance, and his response to the calling card is still unknown. There's a TV downstairs. There is a TV downstairs. I'm dumb. It's we've had whole cutscenes around it with a catchy. We're doing it. We're getting the boat fucking things. shelf. Hmm. Nothing new. <sighs> that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Now, we have an evening that we can do some stuff, so we're gonna call the maid, we're gonna get some more fucking coffee made. Yep. Make sure you close up. What do we have? Speech help. 
or fortune telling. You know what? Sure. I don't have anything better to do. Empress card. Uh huh. Let's do a test. <laughs> what? Why do you want me to go back there? The thing is, recently, my reputation has really started shooting up. A lot of my clients leave happy now too. I even managed to use my own powers to alter some fates that had once seemed inevitable. I suppose all you really need to change one's fate is a strong will, like what you have. Wish I could do more, though. Are you on break right now, Mifune-kun? What? fukurai san So, are you the apprentice I've heard so much about? I've been wondering, why are you so interested in Mifune-kun? Uh, what is best job to you? Because I thought it was the beef bowl place, which is how I met uh, Yoshida. This one doesn't matter. I have an interest in fortune telling. Uh, this man is Fukurai. He's th the chairman of the ADP. Oh, uh, Assembly of the Divine Power. The goal is to relieve the hearts and minds of today's weary souls via healing events and seminars. We also sell holy stones, the well from which our divine power springs. They are a large part of our business. Um. Fukurai san, um. Yokota-kun was telling me you've been acting a little... strange recently. More importantly, it seems you've started falling behind on your holy stone sale quotas. Everything okay? I'll cover the decrease in revenue with my fortune-telling fees. Bukurai san I'm not sure how effective these holy stones really are. Excuse me? Well, do you remember who showed you the way when you arrived here from the countryside, lost and confused? Do you remember who saved you when you were stuck working in a seedy club with no place to turn? It was me. Are you saying you no longer have trust in someone who's done so much for you? Th that's not it. Then enough of the skepticism. Just focus on continuing your role as the Maiden of Relief. Read the futures of those unfortunate souls who come to us, and lead them to salvation with the Holy Stones. Maiden of Relief? It's a nickname I gave her over at the ADP. Beautiful, don't you think? Mm. I don't want things to go back to how they were, do you, Mifune-kun? Don't you remember breaking down in front of me, telling me how everyone called you a monster? You don't carry your weight as the maiden. You'll be exactly that. A monster. Hey man, leave her alone. Fine, if you want to spend your time fooling around with this child, go right ahead. Don't forget, the ADP is the only place you'll ever belong. Ah. <laughs> I've never actually worked at a nightclub. I did get tricked into walking into one, though. Chairman is known for exaggerating details. <sighs> you must think I'm weird, huh? All this talk about me being a maiden or a monster? You're just Jihai out of me. What? <laughs> huh? Nobody's ever treated me so nicely before. But... By the way, it was pretty amazing how you stood up to the chairman back there. I would never have been able to talk to him about the Holy Stones had I been alone. Your strength helped me speak up. I need to be strong like you more often. Good job, Chihaya. Believe in yourself. You could do it. All right. Um... Even so, the chairman seems serious about the whole Holy Stone issue. He'll make me pay a fine if I don't meet my quotas, and there's a huge penalty res for resigning from my post. I suppose my fate is impossible to change after all. Um, anyway, I should close up for today. 
Until next time. I mean, she has more of a chance of doing it than us. Hi. Cool. Thank you. It's hard to figure out, so I don't blame you for still not having it down, Fire. They just cannot understand. <laughs> to be honest, I'm fed up with how happy people have been acting. Stealing hearts, social reform, don't give me this phantom thieves nonsense. It's all so unscientific. I mean, how could they target a Big Bang Burger and Okamura Foods? They're criminal. That artificially consummate flavor, enough volume to fill a small universe. The Phantom Thieves trying to steal the galaxy called junk food from me. You. That said, Karusukun. The night sky may be filled with countless galaxies. But in the entire universe, which of these is closest to its density of stars? Three eggs in a pot, three balls in a tennis court, three watermelons in the sun. I'm gonna say three balls in a tennis court. No, three watermelons in the sun. <laughs> I expected as much out of you. Yes, the correct answer is three watermelons in the sun. Three bees in the whole of Europe works too. In other words, the universe is essentially empty. There are countless stars in the sky, but the universe is even more vast than that. Even within our galaxy, the stars are separated by a great distance, even though you could see so many. Nice. Alright, that's some extra knowledge. Dude, McDonald's is crap. You gotta get Wendy's. Close, but yet far. <laughs> you could say the same of our hearts. If only we knew the places we've been. Oh, if only he knew. Dude, go talk to that Discord group. Tell Liz that you prefer McDonald's, and she will come after you. Yusuke, I don't think I have enough. How is my proficiency? Still only level 3. I think what I'm going to do... Anybody else around? No. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go for Takami, because I don't think I can level Yusuke right now. I might want to try a different environment so I can understand how pressure affects the data. For example, some place that's high above the ground. I'll have to find a good location. Okay, let's do today's clinical trial. Do I have postcard? I do have postcard. Let's go. I think. Buildings look like specks from here. This truly is the best altitude at which to test. The atmos atmospheric pressure should have dropped at this height. Are your ears okay? Uh, does this matter? I- look, we can have this talk later. It's either you tell me or I look it up myself. 
<laughs> yes, no, maybe so. Dude. Come on. It's a random cutscene. And they feel a little weird. God damn it, she messed me up and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> well then. Close off. Uh... I don't think she would like the snack pack. Or the idle pins. <laughs> Look, man. I'm forgetful, okay? Oh, wow, that came quickly. Alright, before I do anything... I'll go get the fucking postcard. Look, man. I couldn't figure out what else to do, so I was like. What would you like? Who's around? Sojuro. Oh yeah, Mishima, Fumi. All right, okay. Buttons are hard. <laughs> I do lack patience. Okay, I'll make the emote, but it's up to you guys to get that emote slot. Hey, Mishima. Yama says he's not going to be able to pay up this month. How about you spot him? That's what friends are for, right? F friends? Huh? You guys ain't friends? Don't try and mess with us, Akiyama. Is this loser supposed to be the friend who's going to help you? If you don't got anything to do with this little bitch, Akiyama, I suggest you get out of here. Come on, Toru. Looks like we're going to have to go have a nice chat with that girlfriend of his. Please, no. I'm begging you. Sorry, but you broke our promise. And she's gonna be the one to pay us back. If you catch my drift. This is just what you get for trying to screw us over. You're so cruel, Yuta-kun. <sighs> Akiyama-kun. Kurusu runs. Oof. Oof. So... Oh no, 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 no. Kim. <laughs> Not again. Kim. <sighs> <sighs> 
Kim, why do you do this? Fucking Christ. I don't even know how many I need. And I still never fix the audio for the stupid thing, so you're only seeing the thing and not... I'm not... I'm not telling you how many more I need. Because you will keep giving until... <laughs> Nick, can you, uh... Do you have the answers for this? Cause I cannot think. See, that's 17 gifts plus her own. <laughs> he bit his tongue. Okay, that's 4.99 times 18 subs, divide that by half. Jesus Christ, Kim, you spent basically $90. And I get about 45 of that. Oh my god. You better lay off Akiyama-kun. You've been taking a video of this whole conversation. If you do anything to Akiyama-kun or his girlfriend, I'll bring it straight to the police. And don't get any ideas about breaking my phone. It backs up to the cloud automatically. What should we do? We'll be fine. The police ain't gonna do shit because of this stupid little video. Why don't you run along with to your anime girls? We don't got time to deal with losers like you. <sighs> They're the real losers. Eh? What the hell? Look, I know you guys are supposed to be tough and all. I'm pretty sure it's really worth getting arrested again over something like this? I mean, this video is definitely enough to get you guys busted given your previous criminal records. How'd you know about that? Doesn't matter. Just leave Akiyama-kun and we'll be even. Then if you keep your word, I'll delete the video. The backup, too. You'll delete them now. No. Oh, Yudaku. Uh, Yudaku. I've had enough of this shit. <sighs> thought I was gonna have a heart attack. No lack would have broken down if they hadn't backed off when they did. I really suck, huh? Wait, that was all an act? Yeah. Yep, the whole thing. Truth is, I've dealt with enough bullying to know guys like that have probably been arrested at least once. <laughs> oh, and thanks for sticking by me. We can't just let injustice like that go unchecked. I think I get it now. This feeling is what made me want to help you guys to begin with. That's why I started the fan site. To make sure that nobody has to go through stuff like this again. Thanks, Mishima. You did good. Rank 8. All right. <sighs> Akiyama-kun, are you okay? Looks like they really laid it on you. Mishima, why'd you help me? Huh? You didn't need to get involved. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Looks like you were really in... Tub... Tr Looks like you were really in trouble, though. So I stepped in. That's so. Anyway, can you walk? Do you need us to call an ambulance? I'm fine. Just go. Oh. All right. Come on, Caruso. Well, see you later. I can read words. I just can't speak. My my speaking does not keep up with my brain. A good chunk of the time. I am a bad voice actor. I mean, I'm not a terrible bat. I'm not a terrible voice actor. I just would take a few tries to get my lines right. 
which is about on par, so, you know, I'm not terrible. Do you think the Phantom Thieves will do the same thing to that CEO they did to our principal? Come on, they aren't gonna murder him. Besides, I'm pretty sure the principal killed himself. No way, that was the Phantom Thieves sending a message. Wake up, people. It's time to atone, or something like that. I'd kill for that kind of power. I like how they changed the name from student or whatever to fanboy. Nick, I sent you a thing on Discord. Who's around? Yuki Mishima reporting in. Why does it not like to fucking whatever? Dude, she has spent 90 bucks on my channel in, what, two weeks that I've had, a uh, affiliate? I mean, I get half of that, so really she's given me 45 bucks, but she gave me, but she's, Kim, you've spent $90. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, let's go. I'm trying to figure out what I was. Fucking Christ. It's really coming down. I would rather you not spend any more money, Kim. Take your time. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was as soon as you send it or if it's a specific day of the week. Kim, no! Kim! It's a week. Okay. Apparently this post was made by someone with ties to the banks and finance sector. Target this time is a guy who never pays back his loans. Sounds like he might be involved in organized crime, too. He could be dangerous. <sighs> organized crime? Yeah, apparently even the police are having trouble catching him. He keeps changing his name and appearance to elude them. Guess he's basically the man of a hundred faces. Not bad, huh? According to the one particular post, he's currently going by the name Fumio Akitsu. Went ahead and made a warning post about it. Is that okay? Anyway, I'm sure it'll be easy for Vinny G plays. I hope you're right. After Sunday, it comes back. Okay. Quest received. You know what I'll do? There was another thing. I think it was in Akihabara. Yeah. Roadside items. Taco Goods Shop. No, I want the arcade. The Golo Arcade. Because I heard there was someone there. I wonder who it is I'm supposed to be interacting with. Hold on. Discount Monokuma looking bitch. Hey. This arcade's a hole in a wall. Not too many people are here for Gunabout. You here to play Gunabout? Probably not. You look like you suck at games. Oh, let's do it. Wait, what? Hey. Told me about the guy in the arcade that was in it a thing in our requests. Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, though. 
Oh. Okay then. Back to this arcade. What, you wanna play this? I'm playing gun about right now, so don't bother me. Hey, did you get changed yet? It, uh, won't take my thousand yen bill. Oh, now's my chance. The cheater's logged in. Hey, hurry up and bring me back some change. Let me play. You like gun about, but you don't know about the cheater? Some people online found his real name on a social network site. Now they're all raging. I think his real name is Yoshikuni Nejima. That dirtbag is 40 years old without a job. Well, I'm going to crush Nejima and be a hero. But you don't seem to be winning at all. Shut up. Just go and bring me some change already. So that's the malevolent player that Mishima was talking about. He's the infamous cheater. It's one thing to cheat if you're playing alone, but it's wrong to mess with other people like that. We got his name too. Looks like Yoshikuni Nejima is going to be our next target. Or one of them, anyway. Uh, what else did we have for requests? We are just... Let's go to Shinjuku Bar. Underground Mall. The bar and then the Underground Mall. Where is the bar? Is this the bar? No, that's just a record shop. Question marks. Oh, a DVD rental shop. Good day. I have to work at the fucking flower shop. God damn it. The X-Files. MacGyver! Uh, I don't know what that one's a parody of. The Walking Dead! I'll, uh, uh, fucking... I give up. <sighs> Beverly Hills, thank you. Couldn't remember the name of the actual place. We'll just have to wait for now. Oh yeah. Sure, I'll hang out yeah. with you. Okay. Uh, dude, I don't fucking know. You can always raise the social stat. I cannot use the postcard I sent it to Sojuro, and it has not refreshed yet. Nice try. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> Operation Eat a Bit of Everything. I what happened to just a bit? We'll just slowly go for small bites of food. Doesn't it seem like a foolproof plan? It's crazy how much my stomach expanded last time, but I've reflected on my actions, and I won't make the same mistake again. But Akira, can you keep an eye on me? I think as long as you do, my resolve won't crumble. Well then, let's get eating. That chocolate fountain looks very nice. Where do you eat thing the order you eat things seems important. Let's start with stuff that digests quickly. They gave me this- they gave me this present for being the millionth customer. No wonder this place is expensive. I'm amazed they give out stuff like this. I feel like I'd just eat from it non-stop if I kept it at my house. Can you take it? Would she like this? I'm not sure. Thanks. Uh, kind of, yeah. Thanks. Dude, milk chocolate is great. Ah, 
Thanks for that the other day. You're a real gun enthusiast, not a wannabe. I feel like I could trust you, so I'll teach you about the shop. What do you say? Give me a minute to call my maid and to set up my fucking chocolate fountain. The fanatical messes are waiting in anticipation of what the Phantom Thieves will do next. Are you among those who are waiting to see the president of the company meet his judgment? I am. I appreciate your honesty. I also can't deny the excitement I feel in my heart. It's clear that they have power. They have the, an ethical obligation to use it wisely. The pressure and expectations that burden exceptional people. I know it well. <laughs> We're gonna decorate. Choco hmm. Fountain! Ah ha ha ha! Nah, I'm good. Right, we're going back out. <laughs> Yay. Chum, but gun dad. Do I have any laundry that needs to get done? Okay. One. Mm. Yeah, we'll cook Kawakami. Hi. Thank you, Kawakami. I mean, Becky. Alright. I have a part-time job with... I tried talking to the patron, he didn't leave. I'm supposed to be running an honorable business here, you know. Though honestly, the customers have been running a little thin lately. Some guy on the internet's been claiming all my goods are knockoffs. Once you've got a bad rep like that, it's real tough to shake it. Huh, I know how that feels. Kid like you? Going through something similar? Guess you wouldn't be doing any of this if you weren't, huh? Don't give me any details though. Don't wanna know. That's right. Anyway, I should probably fill you in on what's been what's going on here since you'll be helping me out. But anything the guy behind that rumor is Suda. You remember his name from the diner, yeah? Truth is, he's a lieutenant in the Shiba clan. Same clan I was in, back when I was part of the Yakuza. I always knew you were a thug. <laughs> you got some nerve. Anyways, Suda was my sworn brother back in the clan. I got some unsavory business going down with him now, though. Problem is, I'm a known quantity in the underworld. One bad step, and I'd have guys crawling all over me. That's why I've got you around. You look normal, sure, but you've got balls, kid. Makes you perfect for snooping on Suda. Hope I ain't scaring you off with all this talk. Eh, not really. We made a deal, didn't we? <laughs> Idiot. But you know, I've got a bit of a soft spot for idiots like you. Anyways, you get the gist of what's going on now, yeah? We'll be working with that in mind. I expect a lot from you, kid. Oh, and I'll add this to the special menu to thank you for getting that info for me the other day. Awesome. He's got balls out of balls. All right. Customized mid-grade guns. Cool. What's the meaning of this? Huh? I thought I told you to stop coming around here. But... Is that one of the customers? <sighs> you keep your mouth shut. This ain't none of your business. Let's go home and study, Kaoru. You've got entrance exams coming up, remember? Okay. I guess I'll be going then. Yeah. That's Kaoru, my son. He's always asking me if he can help out here, always worrying about what I'm getting up to. <sighs> but I probably shouldn't be telling a kid like you about this. Well, you can head home for today. Nice work, kid. Oh, I didn't do anything, but sure. I'll take the proficiency. All right. Later. See you next time.
Thank you. Um... Sorry I made you wash another woman's bra. Morning. The day Haru's gonna get sent off is almost here. We took the treasure, so all we have to do is wait. Still, I wish we could do something in the meantime. Why don't we go to Mementos today? Uh... Mm. I don't feel like it. Mm -hmm. You have something else to do? Well, I won't force you. The president has a change of heart. Maybe our reputation will go up and we'll get more requests. So, I want to get the requests we currently have out of the way, at least. I mean, that makes sense. However... I'm gonna have to... do a class thing, aren't I? Well, shall we begin? Well... Oh, we get some free time. I mean, I have a couple requests. What do you want to do? Uh, book on the old district reborn thanks to the new sky tower. Awakened kindness. This one is the one from the library, right? I should read this. She always found it in her art to show mercy to others. Mm. Legendary female pope, huh? Do you think she really existed? Maybe. Hey, hey. About halfway. Ah. <sighs> ah, <that's just> <sighs> Let's return to our lesson. Hey man, shut up. I know I read slow. But you know what I don't do slow? End the episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.